What's going on YouTube? It's One Up Supreme again, and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. And this beautiful ship behind me is the Esperia Prowler. I almost called it the Talon. <laughs> um, it is the Prowler. After messing around with the Prowler a little bit uh, in their last bunker mission shenanigans, I got pretty curious about it because I've I've owned this thing for a while. I've never flown it. Never done anything with it. It just I bought it and it basically just sat in my hangar. That's pretty much it. Um, but actually being in the prowler during the bunker missions made me curious and honestly knowing the fact that you can put 84 B's or 85 B's on this thing put a smile on my face. But that's not what we're running. We are not running ballistic gatlings. I am running a full ballistic cannon loadout. Um I'm actually running a gimbaled setup because I'm pretty sure that the turret is uh acts like a gimbal so i wanted to have all gimbals on here um so i put size four deadbolts under the wings you can see it, one of them right above my head but uh this thing is also considered to be a drop ship now we're not going to be doing no drop ship shenanigans with this thing i'm taking it out to combat we're going to take it on some vhrts and honestly see how it handles for a drop ship i know this ship has been nerfed into oblivion in the past and I guess that pisses people off. I'm just going to say this right now. It's a drop ship. It's not supposed to excel at combat. Yeah, it's got a lot of firepower. Well, well, with this, it's got big firepower. But it's not supposed to excel at combat. It's a drop ship. It's supposed to get in and out quick. So, I think... I mean, I didn't play when it was, like, really powerful, personally. But from what I've been hearing, I think the nerf was for the best. Because it is... Uh, it's not supposed to perform like a fighter. It's supposed to perform like a dropship. So those are just my quick thoughts. I just wanted to put my two cents out there. But yeah, let's uh, let's walk around. Like, look look at the stance in this thing. It's just menacing. Honestly, this thing looks like the Batwing. You know, I feel like Batman would fly this ship, which is dope. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, but it has a menacing stat stance and you can see how many freaking doors this thing has so each of these doors here or hatches they all open up just like this and that red glow you see like right about here that's an energy shield if you've kind of if you ever played halo you kind of get the gist of that you know it's a transparent energy shield it acts like a door or a window but it still blocks, you know, it still protects, like, the troops in here, right? But you can actually shoot out of these shields from inside the ship, which I think is cool. Here, we'll open up the other side, too, just, just to show that. But yeah, I think that is a really cool feature. And we have another door here. I'll just open it. Cool looking ladder, though. Like, really cool looking ladder. I'm going to close it so I don't forget. And then my favorite entrance to the ship is right back here. So other other than all of that, that's all I really know of the ship. Basically, like, the doors and stuff like that. We got, uh, they're technically called jump sheets, but they're mostly just kind of like, I don't know. I don't even know what to call them. They're more like standing braces. I don't freaking know. Um, I don't know what the term is for them. And then over here is where that ladder is. We got some more jump seats in here. And this is the co-pilot seat. Ladder to the pilot is up here. Which does kind of... You know, I'm not going to lie. I do kind of wish they would... Uh... Actually, no. No. Never mind. Oh, component housing. Cool. I was going to say, I kind of wish the pilot was down and the co-pilot was up here, but it actually makes more sense that the pilot is up here. So let's hop into it. Now that I think about it, I think I've had this thing out and on before. Like, I've never flown it. Yeah, because the power is... No? Wait. Hold on. Now that we actually have a power plant in... Uh, yeah, I kind of need one of those, don't you? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Systems activating. Is 
Sorry, I was chewing on something. Um, I think somebody tried to pad wrap me. I think. I'm not sure. Let's check my, uh, just in case. Eh, a little bit. Who knows? But now that we actually have power to the ship, let's turn everything off. There it goes. Now let me turn everything back on. Wow, this thing sounds cool. All right, let's take off. Wow. It does look cool. And landing gear. Oh yeah, dude, Batman would totally fly this damn thing. Hell yeah. All right, now that I've rambled on for almost 10 minutes, and, uh, and yeah. We're going to grab some bounties and uh, see how she does in combat as of 3.17.3. So. Alright. Finally, to the first bounty. I'll probably cut some of that intro out. Pro I'll probably actually cut out my whole goof, to be honest with you, because I was like half the time. But. She does feel like a big ship. She does not... She, she definitely doesn't feel all that fast. But we'll see how she handles. I'm not expecting, like, Scorpius or Vanguard performance or anything like that. What do you got? We got a Freelancer miss there. Do I have lead on? No. Yes, I do. When I run Gimbals, I run lead. Uh, basically, if you guys are wondering, when I run gimbal, Gimbals, I run a lead pip. When I run fixed, I run a leg pip. A saber. Oh, I feel sorry for you. All right. Oh, it ain't no light fighter. I'll tell you that. Obviously, it's a drop ship. Dear Lord. Okay. All right, I'm not worried about that freelancer. A Valkyrie, huh? Drop ship versus drop ship. Mine looks cooler though. Son of a bitch. I'm Batman. <laughs> there we go. Target down. I'm going to leave that freelancer alone. All right, second bounty. Now, I did think on my way here. This is the ship Batman would fly if, if he became a soccer dad. <laughs> Batman's minivan. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Another... Dude, freelancers are all over the place. What kind of missiles does this thing have? This thing has, does not have pilot-controlled missiles. I mean, it makes sense. I keep hitting my bottom, I'm sorry. It, it makes sense because it is a dropship, but I'm actually surprised it doesn't have missiles. Because I even think the Valkyrie has missiles. I don't know. We're going to leave those freelancers alone. Freelancers aren't a threat. At least not in my opinion. There's another little thing right here. A buccaneer, oh yeah, we're gonna we're we're buccaneer. Or er, you're annoying. Eat this. Oh yeah, come on. Come here, come here, Buck. Come on. How was I able to stay behind? Oh, don't want to hit that. Yeah, 
I can in space I can I can whip this thing up around a little bit. Daymar felt heavy though. Ooh, I'm having trouble. That's the freelancer. Eh, you're, you're go away. Go away. All right, we're gonna grab our final bounty. All right, so I just realized we are at about half ammunition, if not actually less. So we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. All oh, this freaking QT job. I gotta get out of the habit of just turning that off right as I drop out of bottom because if you turn it off while it's still like cooling down it'll just act like it's cooling the whole time and it's annoying as hell it's definitely a cool ship I, don't I so far I don't think at least me personally I don't think I take it out all the time I mean it's definitely something different you don't, you don't see one all the time I just, I saw a friendly thing. An arrow, huh? All right, we're gonna get out of here. They look like they're messing around doing some stuff, so. All right, I think we're gonna we're gonna grab a couple more. Maybe change out a loadout a little bit. So we're gonna leave these guys alone. They look like they're doing something. So I'll see you when we grab another bounty. All right, we grab we grabbed a uh, another group VHRT, and if you can see my weapons on my HUD right there, I'm still running ballistics, but we're running Gatling guns instead. So I stuck, I want big boys, hold on. Stuck them, why am I drifting down? Stop that. We stuck, what stopped that? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I don't know why, but my, uh, uh, I don't know why, but my, uh, I was on decoupled, so I was just falling. We stuck some AD5Bs on there. And yeah, we put some man, or yeah mantis mantis gatlings on there those aren't gonna last very long like we know that's not gonna last very long but we're we're mainly worried about the ad 5 bs two of them oh boy let's uh get my decoys back And I'm running, obviously, since I have size fives on there now, I'm running fixed. So we'll see how that goes. This ship really does feel heavy, though. Like, unnecessarily heavy. Warden. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. And the warden. Let's see how fast we can take out the main target. I think this thing is beefy. Stop it. Target destroyed. That was weird. I lost the mantis. I don't even know what happened there. I got so disoriented. That's so weird. 
Well, since we died, I'm actually going to wrap this one up here. I tried with the 85Bs, but I, I don't know. That You can tell that ship is not meant for combat. It really isn't. Like, yeah, you can put a lot of big guns on there, but if you're not taking things out in a single pass, you might as well just run away. That's what I think. Um, I mean, yeah, it's beef. You can take a hit. You can drop troops down under heavy fire. That's definitely for that. But uh, <laughs> it's not a combat ship. So, as I said earlier, yes, the nerf that deserved the nerf. That's what I think, at least. Or, no, let's not call it a rebirth or uh, a nerf. It's called a rebalance. Um, because I know it used to maneuver maneuver like a dream for how big it was. Um, I don't know personally. I don't know firsthand, but that's what I've heard. And, like, it's not meant to do that. Um, but either way, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a little... I'm not going to lie. That felt a little off to me, flying that ship. But it just it's not my kind of ship. So either way, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Also, uh, my 1K sub event is scheduled. If you want to join in on that, uh, go ahead. Clink the uh, cl clink. Oh, my. I can't talk. Click the link in the discord uh, to the discord. Join the discord. The event is scheduled and posted up there. All you got to do is hit you're interested and you're uh, you're good to go to join us on October 15th. It's a Saturday. it would be at 2 o'clock um, Central Standard Time. So um, I hope to see you guys there and in the next video and around the verse. All right. Have a good one.